Uh, the main differences with the programs of study for mathematics is that it's now a year by year curriculum. In the 2000 curriculum, it was three, the, uh, two key stages. Now it's for each year group, which is very similar to the primary national strategy framework for teaching mathematics. There's also a renewed emphasis on mental calculations with children and also with written procedures, particularly written procedures for addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. And children now learning formal algorithms, so the short and long multiplication method and the short and long and division method. Um, there's also an emphasis on conceptual understanding and procedural fluency. So that, so that the importance of mathematics um, and the key facts, the addition and subtraction number facts, the multiplication tables, that children have these absolutely secure. And there are also um, a, a rise in expectation in that there are some new content. So particularly with fractions and decimals, children are now being asked to calculate, to add, subtract and multiply in uh, fractions and decimals. One of the key differences with the new national curriculum, which is statutory, teachers do have to teach to it, is that they're really just given a syllabus, a list of objectives that need to be covered at the end of each year group. But how teachers organise those objectives over the course of a term, over the course of a year, over the course of a key stage, is left up to each individual school. Now in 2000, when the National Numeracy Project started, those objectives, that syllabus, and how to organise that over the course of a year was given to teachers. It was all set out. In 2006, when we had the renewed framework, those two were all, those objectives were then also organised into different blocks and units to help teachers organise the objectives over the course of the year. One of the biggest differences with the new national curriculum is schools are just given a syllabus, the objectives. They have to, for themselves, work out how to organise that over the course of the year to ensure consistency and continuity and progression. And I think that's one of the biggest challenges that schools are going to face in, 20, in 2014 and beyond, how to organise those objectives to make a cohesive uh, scheme of work for their children, building on prerequisite knowledge to help them with uh, new knowledge.